one month since Rachel Morin went missing on the Ma and Pa Trail in Harford County. Her body was discovered the next day. Tonight, her loved ones will be gathering on the trail to hand out flyers in hopes of bringing in new leads to catch her killer. WJZ has been following this story and every update on it for you from the very beginning. Jessica Albert is live on your corner in Bel Air. Jessica, you've spoken with Rachel's family about a new tool that they're using to try to track down her killer. Yeah, that's right, Vic. Rachel, Rachel Moraine's family is actually out here right now passing out these flyers. WJZ was the first station to tell you about these flyers. The family had them made by a criminal profiler to try to help find the killer. Rachel Morin's family will not give up until her killer is found. Rachel's name and the information about the suspect have to stay in the news. WJZ the was the first to speak with the father of Rachel's eldest child on Monday. The reason that it has to stay in the news isn't just so that we, we get justice for Rachel. It's to make sure this doesn't happen to somebody else. The mother of five went missing on the Ma and Pa Trail a month ago. Investigators found her body the next day. Her unsolved, mysterious murder sending fear through the community. I hadn't realized it had been that long, um, and it's just shocking to me to think that that could happen. The biggest break in the case so far. Video Harford County detectives shared last month of the suspect taken from another crime scene across the country. DNA evidence linked him to a home invasion and assault in Los Angeles earlier this year. But still, Still, little is known about the suspect, so Morin's family contacted a criminal profiler to figure out some of the suspect's potential traits and behaviors. The profiler says the suspect could live or work near the trail. He had to have a reason to be there. He had to know somebody in order to end up there. And this is why it's so important that this community in Bel Air, if they're living there, say, hey, do I know somebody who arrived? The family placed the profiler's findings on flyers to give to the public. Community members tell WJZ they're hoping there will be an arrest soon. I appreciate them, you know, in their moment of sadness trying to bring, you know, a little increased focus on it, figuring out this crime and making the community a little safer. And WJZ is staying on this story for you. Our Christina Mendez is actually out here talking with the family as they pass out flyers. She'll bring you much more coverage on this story coming up for you later tonight on WJZ News. Reporting live in Harford County, Jessica Alpert for WJZ.